What up though, y'all, it's Chris. Appreciate you connecting with me while I do my 10,000 steps today. This video topic, is it was requested by Enigma the Great, one of my subscribers, been around for a while. I consider him to be one of my one of my OG subscribers because he, he been in there. So this is about my, uh, my walking and uh, why I do walking over running and uh, what, what shoes I recommend. So let's get into that. Shoes, I'm gonna show y'all my shoes here. These here are the Nike Pegasus 37s. These are what I wear. I absolutely love these shoes. They have served me very well. These aren't even the newest Pegasus, all right? The 41s are the newest Pegasus. But I love the 37s, so I stick with those. Um, I'm actually going to get another pair or two of these because I have walked literally millions of steps in these. <laughs> How do I know this? Because of my health app. I look at all of the, I, I look at all of the different trends. I look at the different um, categories, and I check out what my activity has been in there. And I have walked millions of steps in these. And so as a result, let me see if I can get the bottom of this. As a result, you know what, I'm gonna go over here and lean. The bottom's wearing a bit right here, as you can see. This is where the majority of my weight is. On other shoes right here, be what gets rubbed down, but that hasn't been the case for these. It's been here that gets rubbed down. So. They still got quite a bit of life left in them. But man, when I tell you I love these shoes to get out and walk in them, I am not kidding. I love these shoes. They've got the Zoom, the Zoom Air up here up front. And it just so happens that's where I get all of the weight when I'm walking. So. How can I describe it? It feels like it propels me forward when I'm walking because the way I step, when the weight of my body hits that, hits that upper part of my foot where you see all the wear is, that's, that just so happens to be where the zoom cushioning is. And it like propels me forward when I walk. Y'all ever wonder how, you know, when I'm out here, I just seem like I'm just moving, I'm just going. Yeah, I am, but it's in large part due to the fact that the technology in the shoes kind of makes me move forward. Those of you who get out there and walk and run, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The technology in running shoes, it is designed to help you like uh, excel in whatever your walk speed is, whatever your run speed is, the technology in the shoe is designed to help you along with that. And that's one of the reasons why I choose these. Now, there are other really good you know running and walking shoes out there these are just the ones that i like i've seen other ones uh the pegasus line usually is going to run you about 140 bucks there are some cheaper ones by other brands there are some more expensive ones by other brands there are cheaper and more expensive ones by nike too so you just kind of find one you really like i honestly recommend going into a store and trying on various different ones because you don't want to buy online in this case because you wait on it to come in the mail it comes in the mail you don't like it all of that much and now you're kind of stuck with them or if you're not stuck with them you're sending them back and now you got to wait for you to get the refund and now you got to order another pair where if you just walk into a store because i know some people are they're kind of allergic to going into brick and mortar stores they like to do everything online not me I only do online when I can't do brick and mortar stores. So I like to go into a store, try stuff on. And this is even the case with clothes. You know, clothes, I'm out here comfortable. Y'all can see it's a bit of a cool day today. It's like 45 degrees right now. On days where it's warm, I don't wear the compression uh, pants, but I do when it's cold. These are just some short shorts, which, you know, when it's hot, I'll be out here in these short shorts because I got to show them legs off. <laughs> but uh in terms of why do i prefer walking over running well that is an excellent question enigma 
So let's get into that as well. Why do I prefer walking over running? Well, the walking is like, it's steady state cardio. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a lot more of it done without really getting tired. Cause I can come out here and just run, right? I'm an excellent runner. I've been an excellent runner all my life. So I can get out here and just do some burst running, which there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, I've learned that if I get out here and do walking, I can walk wherever. Y'all see at times I'll be out here, downtown Detroit, the river walk. Um, I'll be in a river, what is it? I mean, not river, but Harbor Town. I'll be all over. I'll go to even Midtown and walk around there. I really get around and it's because of the walking. I don't really get tired because I'm, I'm walking. Not to mention when you're doing this sort of steady state cardio, you are going to burn you are going to burn calories, you're going to burn carbs, you know, you're going to burn a bit of fat. You're not really going to burn muscle when you're when you're doing something like this. So, that's why I do it. In terms of weight loss, I have personally found. Now, your mileage may vary, no pun intended. Well, maybe a little bit of a pun intended. But if you're somebody that's trying to lose weight, getting out and walking in my opinion, is going to be far more beneficial to you than getting out and running. Because if you're trying to lose weight, chances are you don't want that extra, you know, weight crashing down on your knees because that's going to give you some issues that you're going to have to deal with. And uh, you're just going to be able to go a lot further. If you weigh so much, you might not even be able to run. That just may not be an option for you. So I'm a guy that's really fit. I can run. You know, you guys know I can fucking run. I can run. So for me, running or walking, I can do either or. But I just found that the walking is just far more beneficial to me overall. And you would think that wouldn't be the case, right? You would think, hey, running, running is good for you. Running is more work, but it's not about the, you know, more work on your body. It's about how much longer you can do it. It's more beneficial for you to get out here and be able to walk 10 miles than only be able to run half a mile. Wouldn't you agree? It's far more beneficial. You're gonna get a lot more work done. You're gonna get a lot more steps in. You're gonna get a lot more calories burned. So that's why I get out here and I do the walking. It's steady state cardio where running isn't. Running is not steady state cardio because you can't keep that up but the walking is. So you're getting out here, you're stepping and stepping and stepping away. Over time, you've gotten more distance. Over time, you've burned more calories. And the thing is about the, about the running over the walking, running over time can become less effective because your body will adapt to the strain of it. And I found that to be really fascinating when, when I learned of this. The running over time, your body will adapt. So you'll get out there doing that running like crazy, and it doesn't give you the same benefits that it once did because your body has adapted. But the walking, it's something about the walking that your body just never really, it never really makes an adaption to where walking is useless. Walking will always be valuable necessary in fact i think walking is one of the most underrated fitness you know uh tools really walking is one of the most underrated fitness tools get out here do this walking why i think i'm out here every day i told y'all come fall i want to be out here shirtless now, I could do shirtless now. Actually, no, nah, no, I couldn't. It's too cold. That's why it, it's hoodie season. It's officially hoodie season. Ain't no coming out here shirtless. But I told y'all next, next summer, next spring, whichever you want to say, we'll push it back to summer. All right, just to make sure I'm ready. But next summer, I want to be out here shirtless doing these same walks while I'm vlogging with y'all. And how am I going to do that? By exercising, cleaning my diet up, and also getting this steady state cardio in, which is the walking now what's more beneficial the cardio or lifting weights well that really depends on your goals 
Personally, I burn more calories lifting heavy weights than I do getting out here and doing the steady state cardio. The steady state cardio is just icing on the cake. But if I go into the gym and I'm really after it, really lifting, not fiddling around with my phone, not texting, not opening up some, some app doom scrolling, just got my music playlist on and just doing a set, taking a couple minutes rest, doing another set, taking a couple minutes rest. When I do that, if I'm in there for like an hour, I look at how much cardio I've burned. I mean, I, I look at how many calories I've burned and it's way more than I would have burned doing an hour of, of uh, cardio. And how do I know? Well, get yourself some sort of fitness tracker. Get yourself some sort of fitness tracker. Let me shake my wrist out so I can sh show you guys mine. I have an Apple Watch Ultra, Apple Watch Ultra 2. It's the most recent one. I was waiting on them to release a Ultra 3, but they didn't release a Ultra 3. They instead released a new color in the Ultra 2. So I waited for no reason. So I just went ahead and grabbed the Ultra 2. But the reason why I grabbed this one, and you don't have to get the same watch as me. Get what you can afford, get what works for you. For me, my Apple Watch Series 5, I just kind of outgrew it in terms of my fitness aspirations. I had to charge it during the day because I would, I would have it going with the Nike Run app, which would burn a lot of juice. I'd have it going with, um, you know, my fitness tracking when I would be at the gym. Uh, you know, that would also burn juice. So even though the, the battery, I had it replaced and the battery was at like 97%, uh, you know, integrity, I still would have to charge it during the day because it would soak up so much juice from the amount of working out that I was doing. So I had to get a watch that had a bigger battery that would last longer. The battery on this one, even with my fitness load, I don't have to charge it, but every two to two and a half days. Well, that's way better than me having to charge it midday every single day. So I have to charge it midday every single day and then charge it in the morning because I would wear it overnight to track my, my sleep. So I wake up in the morning, put it on the charger, let it charge to full, go do some stuff. And then midday, I have to put it on a charger to charge it to full again, just so that at night, I wouldn't have to charge it before bed. Cause if I put it on the charger before bed, I'm gonna forget it and I'm gonna go to sleep. And I'm not gonna get that sleep tracker information. So you get what I'm saying? The watch that I have now, it's, it's basically an adventure watch. It's Apple's version of an adventure watch so it's able to do the things that the other one did and more, but last a lot longer so I don't have to charge as much. So get you some sort of fitness tracker. That's very important. You wanna track them damn steps. 10,000 steps a day. Y'all know that's my thing, 10,000 steps a day. So if you're serious about doing this stuff, I can help you, ask me all the questions that you want and I'll help you as best as I can. Um, in terms of your arches, cause I know you, you mentioned that Enigma in terms of your arches. So these shoes here, they have solid arch support, but I was having some arch problems a couple years back. I bought some insoles for uh, plantar fasciitis. I think that's how you pronounce it. I was kind of having a situation where my arches were crashing. So I wore those in my shoes for a few days. It corrected the problem very quickly. How I knew I had plantar fasciitis was, you know, you're not really supposed to do this, but because this was a small thing, I felt comfortable doing it. I kind of Googled it and looked up YouTube videos and everybody was pretty much saying the same thing. If you woke up in the morning and you put your feet on the ground and they just hurt for like the first few minutes of you walking around and eventually it goes away, you probably got plantar fasciitis. So I had this, it was very uncomfortable. And so I wanted to do something about it. They all recommended you get some sort of arches so I bought some, I, I bought some, uh, they weren't, they weren't by Dr. Scholl's. They were by some other brand, but they were really good. They corrected the problem in less than a week. I kid you not. I wore them for less than a week and they corrected the problem. And after that, you know, I started just buying shoes that, uh, I don't want to say had art support, but were just better for my feet. All the other shoes that I wear, the Jordans, the Forces, none of that stuff is good for your arches. Those shoes all suck. They look cool as hell. 
that's why we all buy them but in terms of fitness damn i need to get away from here because the planes is just flying over here like crazy today in terms of fitness those shoes all suck they're all trash all the jordans all the forces all, all the all the lebrons all of that shit they look cool as hell they may be okay for playing basketball in but if you're gonna be out here doing a bunch of stepping they suck but they're basketball shoes right not running shoes so of course they're gonna suck but get yourself a decent pair of running slash walking shoes make that investment do not be out here trying to do this stepping in jordans you're gonna wreck them shoes and your feet are gonna hate you for it so you don't want those Invest in a decent pair of running shoes. As I said, I wear the Nike Pegasus 37s. That's mine. They have the Pegasus 41s. I'm not going to be getting those. I'm going to get another pair of 37s. Just because, you know, I just like them. I'm at the age now where when you find a pair of shoes that you can wear every day that you really love, you just wear them every day. You don't care if they match or not. You're just going to wear the shoes that's comfortable. And I've got a ton of sneakers, man. I haven't worn my other sneakers in a while because I've just been wearing these every day to come out here and step in. So let's see. I think that pretty much covers it. Um, why, I, why I walk over running is because of the steady state cardio aspect. What shoes I wear, I've showed you that. And I recommend finding you a decent pair of walking slash running shoes to get out here in. Um, in terms of your arches, yes. If you need some insoles, get some because they will help you immensely. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything. If there's anything else, hit me up and I'll cover it again in a later video. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll let y'all later. Peace.